Now, even if you hadn't read the title of this video or seen the thumbnail, it's pretty clear whose bike this is. I'll give you a clue if you hadn't already got there. Any stripes? Yeah, that's right. There is nothing cooler than having a custom sprayed up bike when you've just won your national title. That's right, Richie Port's Pinarello Belide Aerodynamic properties aren't in question. We know how long they've spent in the wind tunnel refining this. Particularly striking are the really wide fork blades. They've kind of gone in the face of what was tradition, which was a really narrow fork blade with a tiny little gap between the tire and the fork crown. But here, there's acres of space. Interestingly though, they are still only running 23 mil wide tubulars, which kind of does fly in the face of what a lot of riders are using now, which is 24 and 25 mil. And we know that Team Sky ride 24 mil tubulars on their road bikes. So it's interesting to see they have gone for a slightly narrower option, particularly given the width of that pro tri-spoke front wheel up there. Elsewhere, the bike has got DI2 throughout. Again, the shifters having them on both the, the drops and also on the skis means that Richie can shift in whatever position, which is a huge advantage over mechanical group sets of old. He's running a 55 tooth chainring up front. He's also running a really wide space cassette at the back. Now you might think that actually having big gaps in your cassette would be really annoying on a time trial, but the fact is that most of the time, Richie's going to be in the smaller sprockets at the back where they're only separated by one tooth anyway. And actually the bigger gaps only come at the top of the cassette when you start going from your 23 tooth to your 25. Other touches that let us know this is Richie Port's bike. He's got his physique time trial saddle there. The fact that it's got a really short nose is really helpful for his position because it means that he can actually get a lot further forward towards the bottom bracket because as you're probably aware, the UCI have fairly stringent rules as to how far over the bottom bracket a rider can be. Now, the only deviation from the Shimano group set is in the brakes, and that is because Pinarello have built in integrated brakes into the forks and the stays. So you won't see them from there, you've got to come in close. Right, that's your lot. You'll have to rewind if you want to see any more of it. To see more pro bikes on GCN, you can click up there and you get straight through to our pro bike playlist. We've got probably hundreds of the top pros bikes in the world. Oh, if you click down there, you get through to our Giro d'Italia playlist where we've got videos coming at you from the Giro every day. But before you go to either of those, make sure you've subscribed to GCN already. You know it makes sense. You get to see a lot of pro bikes. Bonjour, no. No. No problem.